you know, Jeremiah is this prophet in the Old Testament, and he, man, he's got like a tough job. Like he's having to prophesy the truth of the word of the Lord to the people during a time where nobody's listening, man. They're, they're just not getting it. And he's having, to, he's having to come out with some pretty strong um, truth uh, that, you know, may not feel like you have a lot of friends, what he was having to do. And, and I was reading through Jeremiah recently, and I this, this passage of Scripture, man, it just it just jumped off the page at me like it never had before. And I've read the book of Jeremiah several times. But it's Jeremiah chapter 5, and it's verse 30 and 31. He says, a, a horrible and shocking thing has happened in the land. The prophets, the prophets prophesy lies. The priests rule by their own authority. And my people love it this way. But what will you do in the end? It's like, man, the people that the Lord, they were they had assumed the position of the prophets, like the priest, and they were to communicate and represent God to all the people. And this is that they were prophesying lies. And um, so like if we looked at that and go, okay, what how do we travel across time and make an application for today? Well, I think we could look at go, okay, for people like myself, like I had a lot of friends um, who are in ministry and I'm a pastor like and part of my job is to proclaim the truth and so that like what's happening during that time is people that are at my position were proclaiming lies and so we look at that and go man man I would never want to do that I study I work hard I want to make sure that what I'm teaching from the word is from the word it's not just from you know my own personal feelings about things but it's doing a the good work of interpreting interpreting the text and, and teaching the people what it says so that I'm not teaching a lie and so I think like we get that one but man okay I got that one but I think the second part is the one that really like got my attention and it says they rule by their own authority like and it says my people love it this way like the people love it and so what I'm what I'm seeing here is like the priest is not ruling by the authority of of God He's ruling by his own human authority. He's using his own, his own creativity, his own ingenu ingenuity, his own skill, everything that he can do to influence people to lead. And so he's ruling by his own authority as opposed to the authority of God. And that's how he ends up kind of prophesying some lies as well is because he's only listening to himself. And so I think there are two things to key in on here. Is one, like the simple one, we don't want to be prophesying you know, proclaiming lies. We don't want to be living a lie. We don't want to be buying into a lie. And I think that goes, certainly it goes to the pastors, to the people who are responsible for leading the ministry. But I think it goes to the people too. Like, how do we break that down? Well, we're responsible for leading our own lives in the kingdom. And so we don't want to be um, like believing and proclaiming lies in our lives. And here's the big one, like that, that authority piece is you don't want to lead in the church by your own authority. You always want to make sure that you are leading by the authority of God. What does that mean? It means that as you're developing your vision, that it's not your vision, that you're really listening to the Lord. What is he calling this ministry to be? As you're trying to reach people, that you're listening to the Lord and doing it through the authority of the Lord. You're not just trying to do anything that you can to reach people and say that I'm, I've been successful, that you're actually being true to what is being taught. And then the, the big question for all of us is what do you do in the end? So when it comes to proclaiming the truth and it comes to leading, like I think the Lord is asking us and challenging us, what will we do? Like by what authority is Jimmy going to lead OPCC? That's not my church. And it's not my vision. Like, I'm a servant in the kingdom. And so I want to make sure that I am leading by his authority. And when the end comes, I want to be able to rest on the fact that I stand before Christ and say, it wasn't in my own power. It wasn't in my own authority. It was in yours that I was functioning in life and in ministry. So I would challenge you to, like, live that way yourself. Um, because really, in the end, as the Apostle Paul says, that wood, hay, and stubble gets burned up.
but the gold, silver, and precious stone passes through the refining fire of Christ. And I think the gold, silver, and precious stone will be the stuff that we achieved in the authority of the Lord and everything that we did in our own authority.